guys. Last night was excellent. Um, by 9 p.m., the wind completely had stopped threatening to destroy my tent. And it was very peaceful the rest of the night and also very warm. Um, I just slept in t-shirt and shorts. I didn't have to have any thermals on or my puffy on. And yeah, it was awesome. Uh, so very happy about that. Excited for another day of hiking. Well, got started at 7 a.m. And it's just 7.20 now. Uh, my goal for the day is to get to, I think it's called White River. Um, it's uh, 20 miles from where I camped. And I believe it may be the only water source from here, from what I have on me until that river. Now here it's a pretty legit river. I only have three liters of water. However, the first 10 miles or so here, is gonna be mostly downhill. So I could pr probably survive off a half a liter pretty easily for this first 10 miles. And then I'd have the two and a half for the second 10 miles. That's if there isn't any surprise water anywhere or if trail angels haven't left any water under I-10. So that's my goal, it's my plan. Well, luckily, I hit this water spout and it has water. Um, for some reason, I didn't see that on the map. And so only after a four mile, five mile hike this morning, I hit a bunch of water, which is both awesome and a little annoying. A little annoying because I was carrying a lot of water that I didn't need to be carrying. But I got four liters again because now I'm more sure that until the Whitewater River, there's gonna be nothing. There is a chance for some water, like two miles before the White River, potentially. But either way, I'm super excited for water that comes out of a metal spout. I'm not treating it, so as my friend ICU said, it's just jard Jardia. I mean, what's what's the big deal? It's because I'm a desert dweller. I've lived in deserts my whole life pretty much, but I enjoy the ground floor. I enjoy being at 1500 elevation in kind of a, you know, 75 degrees at 10:30 in the morning uh, temperature. I like to be able to breathe oxygen. And when you're low down here, you got plenty of oxygen to breathe. And I don't be in my I don't mind being hot and sweaty. So yeah, the mountains are fun and, and exciting and adventurous, and I probably will end up do, taking more shots and video of things in the mountains because it's new and different for me. But uh, when it comes down to it, I'm just a desert rat.
to have failed my flight. Okay. So I can't. Everyone sleeps with their flight every night. It doesn't make sense for me. So easy to set That's up. That's a video of this. Look at that beauty. Thank you. This one's a little bit flat. Beer floats. No, I'm good. You all right? Thank you. Mm. They had a documentary right, Meta, What's your, what is, what is it like? Tell us. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. I love it. Can I just say that trail magic is the best? Um, it's been really awesome seeing how uh, nice and epic people are and giving they are um, of their time and effort to hikers. And that's very cool. I've seen a lot of trail magic in the short 200 miles that I've walked from just water caches to root beer floats and soda and candy and and letting us stay at their places and use their restrooms and just lots of awesome stuff so definite shout out to all them trail angels you know I'll be waiting oh, Always know I'll be waiting You know I'll be waiting oh, Always know I'll be waiting You know I'll be waiting oh, Always know I'll be waiting You know I'll be waiting you know I'll be waiting I can't find you I can't find you Always gone in a hurry Gone in a hurry Never thought it was real You know I'll be waiting You know I'll be waiting Truth. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Man, might as well. <gasps> Water. What are these? Energy shots. I like ice. What's in here? Bananas? That's bananas. So much goodness. Look at all that. Mm. Even though a lot of it's gone, it's you know it's partially the thought that counts. At one time, that was full of sodas, that was full of beer, that was full of other things. So I can't find you. I can't find you. Always don't need a hurry. I never thought it was real. I'll let you know where I'm staying You know I'll be waiting I can't find you This uh, little windmill farm that I'm at has a little area for PCT hikers and they had a bunch of signs that said shade and water and I come over here and we've got
got a beautiful green grass right here, some nice shade, um, a hose right there with water and some chairs. And uh, it's nice. I'm looking a little sunburned. Um, it's 86 out today. I heard from other hikers by so Sunday, this area is supposed to be um, up to 100 degrees. Luckily by then I'll be again up at 8,000 feet in the mountains, but um, it feels really nice. It's 3 p.m. right now. Um, feels really nice to uh, um, take a little breather while I'm sweating. Look at this guy I found. Guys, oh, don't buy me. It's okay, it's okay. That a girl. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, hey. Got me a snake. Uh, uh. I gotta let it go without it biting me. Bite me. No idea. I saw it just like 10 or well, 20 feet ahead of me and it was right on the trail so I thought well I'll get some shots of it so I started to get out my phone looked up and it was slithering into the bushes and so I chased the girl I chased her right into the bush and I didn't want to just reach down and grab it because I didn't know if it was dangerous or uh, poisonous. So I was using my trekking poles to kind of divert it. And then I noticed that it was lashing out and biting at my trekking poles, which made me a little more fearful. I eventually grabbed it by the tail, and I think that might be when I turned on my GoPro and then I was able to grab it right behind the head so it wouldn't bite me. It almost bit me. In fact, I'm not a thousand percent sure, certain that, didn't, that it didn't barely nick me. It might have, but, uh, um, but yeah, she was a beaut and I caught her. It's two snakes caught. Hopefully it wasn't too dangerous, but if it was, I don't think she bit me. Why do we go down trails, Bruce? Well, of course, to hike back up them, Alfred.
Let me stop. Um, one thing I didn't do today is I didn't eat. Um, well, I ate. I didn't eat enough. I've eaten probably only like eight, eight or nine hundred calories. Um, so I need to eat more, and so that's part of the reason why I'm stopping as well. I'm, I'm super hungry. Anyways, this is my tent site. It's very flat, um, very beautiful, and only a mile away from the river, and I have plenty of water. So, set up my tent. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mac and cheese. Gonna add in some calabasa summer sausage. It's gonna be delicious. I also added in some uh, um, dehydrated uh, milk fat. So, yay. Hey guys, just uh, doing some editing. Ate some good food. Got my tent set up. It's uh, 8.30. It um, <clears throat> means it's time for me to go to bed. Gotta finish editing first. Uh, overall, had a good day. My feet um, were troopers for a lot of the day. Toward the end of the day, like the last couple miles, is when they really started um, having issues. Which is good because it used to be a lot sooner. You know, it used to be by mile seven or eight. They were um, really complaining. And so things are getting better. Uh, it's doing better. Um, anyways. I'm gonna finish editing the vlog and I will see you guys in the morning. I, I, I can't you know I'll be waiting. Oh, always know I'll be waiting. You know I'll be waiting. Oh, always know I'll be waiting. You know I'll be waiting. Oh, always know I'll be waiting. You know I'll be waiting. You know I'll be waiting